Good day, children! Are you ready to learn our lesson for today? Are you excited? Yes, you should! I am Teacher Faith at your service. Today, we will learn about invertebrates. Are you familiar with invertebrates? At the end of the lesson, we are going to determine the distinguishing characteristics of invertebrates. But before that, we are going to test your knowledge about the lesson we are going to explore. I will read the question twice and you write your answer in any sheet of paper you have with you. Then, we are going to check if you got it right. Here are the questions. Number one, which of these four animals is identified as invertebrate by a pet lover? Again, which of these four animals is identified as invertebrate by a pet lover? A. Jellyfish B. Lion C. Tiger D. Whale What is your answer? The answer is A. Jellyfish Next question. Number two. Which of the following animals does not have a backbone? Again, which of the following animals does not have a backbone? A. Shark. B. Rabbit. C. Monkey. D. Bee. What is your answer? The answer is letter D, B. Question number three. Which group of animals is insect? Which group of animals is insect? A, ant, spider, centipede. B, crab, octopus, Shrimp, C. Earthworm, squid, mosquito, D. Housefly, B. Butterfly. What is your answer? The answer is letter D. Housefly, B. And butterfly. Question number four. Why does a squid belong to mollusk? Again, why does a squid belong to mollusk? A. It has no shell covering its soft body. B. It lives in the ocean. C. It has soft body inside a single cell. D. It has a shell covering its soft body. What is your answer? The answer is letter C. It has soft body inside a single cell. And now we're done. Who got the perfect score? Good job! But those who got mistakes, don't worry because we are about to explore our lesson for today about invertebrates. Let's join together to enjoy, have fun, and learn. Before we will continue, let me first remind you of the very essential things that we are going to consider in this time of pandemic. Of course, you should wear your face mask, your face shield, and observe social distancing and don't forget to wash your hands regularly and now before proceeding with our new lesson let's play a game do you want to play a game yes oh that's great let's play name game are you excited you just have to identify the illustration i'm going to show you 
Let's get started. Do you know me? What do you think is this? It's a starfish. Correct. How about this one? What do you think is this? It's a clam. Very good. Correct. And this one, moving so slowly. What do you think is this? It's a snail. Correct. Do you know this one? So pretty. It's a butterfly. Correct. How about this one? Ooh. It's it's a bee. Correct. Did you enjoy the game? Oh, that's nice. But before that, let me first check your knowledge about vertebrates. I will read the question twice, like what we did a while ago, and you are going to answer in any sheet of paper you have with you. Then afterwards, we will check it. Are you ready? Let's get the ball rolling. Question number one. Why can't fish live in water? Again, why can fish live in water? A. They can catch their food using their tails. B. They have gills and fins for swimming. C. They have lungs to breathe in water. D. They love to swim all the time. What is your answer? The answer is B. They have gills and fins for swimming. Question number two. Which of the following groups of animals are mammals? Which of the following groups of animals are mammals? A. Whale, cat, bat, Lion B. Shark Rabbit Lizard Monkey C. Maya Bangus Ostrich Elephant D. Frog Crocodile Human Rat What is your answer? The answer is letter A, whale, cat, bat, lion. Question number three. Most adult amphibians can obtain oxygen through their blank. Most adult amphibians can obtain oxygen through their blank. A, lungs. B. Lungs and skin. C. Gills and lungs. D. Gills. What is your answer? The answer is B. Lungs and skin. Question number four. Which of the following is the similarity of birds? And reptiles. Again, which of the following is the similarity of birds and reptiles? A. Their body temperature changes whenever they go. B. Their bodies are covered with feathers. C. They can live both in land and water. D. They lay eggs with hard shell. What is your answer? The answer is letter D. They lay eggs with hard 
shell. Bravo! You did well! Now, let's get the ball rolling and let's get ready to rumble. I will be giving you an activity that will help you understand and master the lessons on characteristics of invertebrates. Are you ready? Let's get started! Our activity is entitled, Guess What? I will be reading a riddle that best describes the illustration I am about to show you. What you need to do is to identify what animal suits the description I have given. Are you ready? Let's get ready to rumble! Guess what? It lives in the ocean. It likes to eat crabs. Its eight legs are called tentacles. What do you think is it? Octopus. Correct. Octopus is an invertebrate classified as mollusk. It is soft-bodied animal that lives in water. Guess what? It is flat worm with unsegmented body. It has tail and head end. It commonly lives in humans. What is it? A tapeworm. Correct. Tapeworm is an invertebrate classified as platyhelminths. It has flat, segmented, and ribbon-like body. It is a endoparasite. Guess what? It lives in the sea, but it is not a fish. It has five arms covered with spiny skin on top. What is it? A starfish. Correct. Starfish is an invertebrate classified as echinoderm. It is a spiny-skinned animal with five arms. Guess what? It can be found in the branches of trees and also in the house. It spins silk for capturing its prey. What is it? A spider! Correct! Spider is an invertebrate classified as arachnid. It has four pair of legs without antennae nor wings. Guess what? It is a round worm which lives in the small intestine of humans. It can cause intestinal disease. What is it? Hookworm. Correct. Hookworm is an invertebrate classified as nematode. It is a roundworm endoparasite. Guess what? It does not bite nor sting. It has compound eyes. It can spread diseases. What is it? A housefly. Correct. Housefly is an invertebrate classified as insect. It has antennae and have three main body parts. Guess what? It has elongated body with one pair of legs per body segment. It can inflict pain by injecting its venom. What is it? Centipede. Correct. A centipede is an invertebrate classified as myriapod. It has many pairs of legs and long segmented body. Guess what? It burrows underground through the soil and brings subsoil closer to the surface. It helps the soil become fertile. What is it? 
earthworm. Correct. Earthworm is an invertebrate classified as annelid. It has long segmented body with no backbone. Guess what? It is covered with a hard shell and is armed with a single pair of claws. It takes skill to catch its food. What is it? Crab. Correct. A crab is an invertebrate classified as crustacean. It has hard exoskeleton with two compound eyes. Guess what? Its body is 95% water. It looks like a transparent cellophane that floats under water. What is it? Jellyfish. Correct. It is an invertebrate classified as Cnidaria. It has hollow body and tentacles with tiny stinging cells. Good job! You did great! Now, let's move on. Animals can be classified into two, vertebrates and invertebrates. We already have learned about vertebrates. Now, we are going to proceed about invertebrates. Invertebrates are animals without a backbone or vertebral column. Vertebral column is the central axis of the skeleton in all vertebrates. Invertebrates are divided into 10 subgroups, which includes mollusks, echinoderms, platyhelminths, arachnids, nematodes, annelids, insects, cnidarians, and crustaceans. Mollusks. These are soft-bodied animals, usually living in shell, which is called exoskeleton. They have tentacles with suckers that help them get their food. Examples of mollusks, mussels, clam, octopus, oyster, snail, squid. Echinoderms. Echinoderms are spiny skinned animals with hard shells covered with prickly spines or needles. They utilize water pressure to feed, move, and sensing environment through their tube feet. Examples of echinoderms. Sea cucumber. Sea urchin. Starfish. Plotty helmets. These are called flatworms because of their flat, segmented, and ribbon like body. They have no space inside, so they don't have digestive system. Examples of Plotty helmets Marine tapeworm, tapeworm. Look. Arachnids. Arachnids have four pairs of legs. They don't have antennae. They also don't have wings, but they have mandible or lower jaw, which is responsible for, for chewing prey. They have fused head and thorax. Examples of arachnids. Scorpion. Tick, spider, mite. Nematodes. They are also called roundworms. They are long, thin, round, and pointed at one or both ends. Some of them are also called parasites. Examples of nematodes. Ascaris, 
hookworm. Myriapods. They are animals with many legs. They are millipedes which have two pairs of legs in every segment of their body. And the centipedes which have one pair of legs in every segment of their body. Examples of myriapods. Millipede. Centipede. Annelids. They have elongated, segmented, or ringed bodies. They are segmented worms. Examples of annelids. Earthworm. Leech. Another subgroup of invertebrates are insects. They are small, six-legged animals or have three pairs of walking legs. They have one or two pairs of wings and a pair of antennae. These bodies are divided into three parts, the head, the thorax, and abdomen. Examples of insects. B. Ant. Wasp. Butterfly. Cockroach. Firefly, ladybug, grasshopper. Cnidarians. Cnidarians are soft bodied animals. They have sting cells that they use to catch food and protect themselves from other animals. Examples of cnidarians jellyfish. Sea fan, corals, sea animal, hydras. Crustaceans. Crustaceans have hard outer body covering divided into sections. They have exoskeletons, compound eyes, and two pairs of antennae. Examples of crustaceans. Crab. Lobster. Shrimp. That's it. Did you learn more about invertebrates? Is everything clear? That's great. More to go. I am confident that you can now determine the distinguishing characteristics of invertebrates. But wait, there's more. I want you to answer this question in any sheet of paper you have with you. Identify the classification of the following invertebrates based on their distinguished characteristics. Number one, cockroach. Two, clam. Three, shrimp. Four, jellyfish. Five, earthworm. Mollusk, insect. Cnidarian, nematode, arachnid, annelid, myriapod, crustacean, platyhelmin, echinoderm. Let's check your work. Number one, cockroach. A cockroach is an insect. Correct. Two, clam. A clam is a mollusk. Correct. Three. Shrimp. A shrimp is crustacean. Correct. Four. Jellyfish. A jellyfish is a cnidarian. Correct. And lastly, earthworm. Earthworm is an annelid. Correct. Good job. Well done, kids. We are about to finish. Your task this time is to apply the knowledge we have gained on the characteristics of invertebrates. Let's sum up your learning by filling in the red spaces on the charts I am about to show you. Good luck! Complete the chart on the characteristics of invertebrates.
we're done. You check your work on the complete chart I am about to show you. You check your work. Excellent! Very good, everyone! Now, we're almost done. You have learned so much about the characteristics of invertebrates. Now, we are going to talk about what you can do. The different invertebrate lives in the environment. As a child, what can you do to help take good care of the different invertebrates living in our environment? Very good, kids! Now, let's make generalization of the learnings we have gained today. Characteristics of invertebrates Octopus Octopus are mollusks with soft-bodied animals that lives in water. Tapeworm Tapeworm are platyhelmets. They are flat, segmented, and with ribbon-like body. Echinoderms Echinoderms have spiny skinned and with five arms. Example, starfish. Spider are arachnids. They have four pairs of legs. They don't have antennae and wings. Hookworm are nematodes. They are roundworm. Insects have antennae with three main body parts. Example, bee. Myriapods has long segmented body with many legs. Example, centipede. Earthworm are annelids. They have long segmented body. Jellyfish are Niberian. They have hollow body and they have tentacles. And lastly, crustacean. Crustacean have hard exoskeleton and compound eyes. Example, crab. In order to evaluate your level of mastery of our lesson, kindly answer the assessment. Determine the distinguishing characteristics of the following invertebrates. A. Platyhelminths B. Mollusks C. Echinoderms D. Myriapods E. Crustaceans 1. They have tentacles with suckers that help them get their food. 2. They are also called flatworms. 3. They are animals with many legs. 4. They have a hard outer body covering divided into sections. 5. They are soft-bodied animals. Congratulations! You did great! To ensure retention and to fully enrich our knowledge and skills of our lesson, kindly do the additional activity. For your additional activity, do a research on the other examples of invertebrates. Make a lap book of the animals in each group. You did great! That's all for today. I hope you learned a lot. Once again, I am Teacher Faith at your service. Till next time, keep safe and God bless. Thanks for watching!